uh, hi everyone today I am going to discuss uh, logarithmic functions what is a logarithmic function before going towards the logarithmic function I should uh, revise your concept regarding inverse function as you know that uh, uh, there is an inverse of every function for example uh, if I give you the example of a function in maths let's suppose square square if this is the domain of this f so square mean I have to apply square on every domain member and then I will get the image 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. This is the function of a square. Square is a function. If you go, want to go other way around, this is also called a function but this is the inverse of f. And this is called square root. For example, if you apply square root on 16, you will get its image 4. If you apply square root on 3, you will get its image 3. If you apply square root on 4, you will get 2. If you apply square root on 1, you will get 1. So, we are actually reversing everything. So, this f inverse is the square root is the inverse function of square uh, square in the same way if there is a cube cube is also a function then the cube root is the inverse of that function so uh, every function got its inverse but there is a condition I'll not go in detail uh, the type of the function the uh, function should be 1 1 but uh, that I'll explain in the topic function so every function which is a function uh, which uh, satisfies that specific conditions have inverse function as well. So, in the same way, the logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function this is the inverse function of exponential function for example if this is the <coughs> exponential function let's suppose 3x uh, 3 raised to power x and I got domains so what will be the images I need to put these values of x at the top of 3 so the 1's image will be 3 raised to power 1 which is 3 if I put 2 instead of x so 3 raised to power 2 is 9 if I put 3 instead of x at the top of 3 so 3 power 3 is 27. So, this is let's suppose it is an exponential function. Okay, if you go other way around, this is called inverse of f, which is a logarithmic function, and this will be called log base 3 uh, of f is equal to x. So, if we take log 3 of 27, the answer will be 3. The other way around, I will get this. So, this is called logarithmic function. This is the inverse of an exponential function. How can I write exponential into logarithmic function? For example, I got y is equal to 3x an exponential function. 
I am going to write in a logarithmic form. So please look carefully. I will write log with the single term, which is not the exponent exponential term, the single term. I will write log with y. 3 is the base of x. Now 3 will become the base of log. This one. So 3 will be always a base. Either it's the base of x or it's the base of log. So 3 is always the base. And this x I will write here. This is the method of writing in a logarithmic form. Again I am going to repeat. I will write log with single term, then y, then the base, which is the base, and then x. This is the uh, method of writing a logarithmic form from exponential form. So, any number can be the base of log, but there are some specific uh, basis for example log with base 10 which can be written as log base 10 is called uh, common log okay this can be written as L O G even. L O G. If there is no base, you can, if you didn't see any base, it is understood that the base is ten. So the base ten can uh, is actually uh, understood. So we don't write base ten every time. Or we can write it as L G. L G instead of log this is also the common log within base 10 so if you write log base 10x actually you can write it as lgx so this is the shortest form uh, of the uh, which we can write the log okay this is called log x there is another Another very important base uh, which is called E. This can also be the base of the log. Uh, if the base of the log is E, then the logarithm is called and it is called natural logarithm or Naprian. in the name of John Napier. The Scottish mathematician uh, worked on logarithm, that's why his name is also uh, the name of the logarithm, Naprian logarithm or natural logarithm. So the natural logarithm is always written as small l and n this is not capital n small n this is natural logarithm it is understood that its base is e because you can see n and mean natural log naprian so this is natural logarithm the common logarithm is log with base 10 this is with base e so you will never see base e uh, under this log and we will never see base 10 under this because this is understood. If you see the calculator, 
there is also a natural logarithm and this is uh, sorry this is common logarithm this is natural logarithm the both keys you can see on the calculator as well so these two types of uh, they are these are two types of logarithms which we discuss in this section okay for example how can uh, these uh, log questions uh, come for example uh, the types of questions for example i got an example write the following in logarithmic form number one seven base three uh, seven part three is three four three or second is 2 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to 1 over 16. Okay. So you can write the single term on the left side because you have already learned the y is equal to ax when you was learning the exponential to logarithmic form. This one. So it is better we should write this one. So single term should be on the left side. So I'm going to write it in logarithmic form. How I'll put log with single term. Seven is the base, so seven the base will be of the log, and this three will come here. This is the logarithmic form. Very simple. I can also write this in the same way. One over sixteen is equal to two power minus four. So I'm going to write this in the logarithmic form. I will write log here, log 1 over 16. The 2 is the base of this exponential, so 2 will become the base of the log, and this minus 4 will come here. This is the logarithmic form of uh, this 2 minus 4 is equal to 1 over 16. Okay. So this is the these of the log questions which can come and uh, you can solve them. There is another example. I should switch the page. For example, example is uh, find the value of x. Number one. If I got x is equal to log base to 1 to 8, this is the part 1. So I need to find the value of x. Okay. So first of all, I will write this in exponential form because this is in logarithmic form. So you know how to write in exponential, the reverse of logarithmic form. First of all, omit this log, no log, just write this 128. If you remember the reverse process of logarithmic function, uh, logarithmic form. I will not write, I will just omit this log. 1 to 8 is here. The 2, this is the base of log which will become the base of this x. So this is exponential form. So the x, uh, our x is in exponent form, so the basis should be same so that we can cancel, cancel them and uh, the x uh, powers will give us the answer. So I can write it as 1 to 8 as 2 power 7 because 2 power 7 is 1 to 8. So the bases are same, they will be cancelled each other, x is equal to 7 is the answer. Okay. Another example, for example log x 7 to 9 is equal to 6, I am going to find the value of x. Okay, I'll write in exponential function uh, form, writing in exponential function uh, form. Base x will become the base of this 6. Uh, it will be x raised to power 6. 
Now our x is in base, so the powers should be same so that we can cancel, cancel them and uh, the basis will be our answer. So if we look, look closely, this 7 to 9 can be write, written as the 3 power 6 is equal to x power 6. So this will become power power cancel x is equal to 3. So this is the answer. So this is the logarithmic function. We can solve uh, different logarithmic functions by this way. So this is the end of the lecture. Thank you.